Welcome to the tutorial for Pet Tutor on iOS. Uh, we're going to demonstrate the Pet Tutor app, Pet Tutor Blue app, for uh, the uh, iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch. So this works on, on the Apple devices, uh, the smartphone devices that are running iOS. Uh, the first step that we do is uh, obviously start, install the app and start it up. And so we have the app running now. And we have a feeder turned on next to us. And the uh, first step is to hit begin training. And when we do that, we'll, the app will go out and look for devices that, are, that it might connect to for Bluetooth. And so you'll see at the top here, there's one called feeder. We're going to press on that uh, check mark button. We may have to do that a couple of times to get a connection two or three times may be required since we haven't connected to this feeder before it's going to bring up a screen so that we can name it so we can put in any name with uh, numbers and letters in there I'm just going to call this uh, fluffy number one and so then I can press the save and continue and now I've renamed that feeder then the next step is down at the bottom the start training button I hit that and now you see uh, we've brought up the the manual feed button which is this uh, blue button and if we press that uh, that will trigger the feeder one time and time and it'll time and it'll dispense and it'll dispense um, the unique feature of the app uh, is that we can also cancel the feed so if we start a feed and immediately hit the feed button right away we can cancel that feed cycle so there it started and we hit it again and now we've stopped it so that's just simple uh, using the manual feed button. I'm showing one feeder here. We could have many feeders connected at the same time, and each one would look like the one that's on the screen now. In the upper right-hand corner, you'll see a little green circle, or it's a green clock. That is for the time dispense mode. I'm going to press that, and a little pop-up comes up. And we can change several parameters for the timed interval dispense cycle. Uh, typically, you might want something like once every five seconds, we'll run a dispense cycle. Uh, the next selection is we can tell it how many we want to run before the program stops. And uh, here we have 100. So let's say we've got uh, our dog takes about uh, their meal is uh, about 100 cycles. Uh, maybe we've got a small dog and they just don't need a lot. So about 100 cycles and then the, the program will stop. Uh, the, the next selection down below that is the um, percent randomization. So if I put in a number like 50% here, that means that each interval will vary between 5 and 7.5 seconds. and a half seconds. Seven and a half is because it's 50% of 5. So that's the upper limit. The lower limit is 5 seconds. And so if I hit the start button now, now the feeder has begun the time dispense mode. I'll just click OK on that pop-up, just a reminder. So now the feeder is running. It's going to be dropping a treat every five seconds and it will stop after 100 times. Uh, now I can also feed in the middle of this. So if I press the feed button right now, I just gave another treat. So if I've got a really long interval and the dog did something I like, I can manually add another treat right in the middle of that time interval and it won't disrupt the time interval dispense. That's kind of a neat feature. Um, I can also stop this anytime I want. So the red button or this uh, red clock, if I press that, it'll turn green. And now I have turned off the timed interval dispense mode. So it's as simple as that. If I pressed it again, it would uh, pop up the dialog and allow me to change those parameters and start over again. Just to the right of the green clock is a gear. And in the, in the gear allows us to change the, um, the feeder name if we want. So we've, changed, we've named it Fluffy1 to start with. We could call that. Give it a different name. Press Save and Continue. And now that feeder is renamed. So those are the basic operations of the feeder. Um, the time dispense mode, the manual dispense mode. Um, we're going to back all the way up now to the start screen and go down into the settings. These are some of the advanced things that uh, we can do. You see that feeder that we're connected to. If we press the button, we'll go into this. It gives us a lot of the nitty gritty details inside the, feed, the feeder, the firmware that we're using, the voltage and uh, some other uh, information. 
uh, though I'm going to draw your attention to this green button in the middle, which is install new software. If we have our feeder and we're using it and we at the factory come up with a new program, you can very easily get that new program right here. We've got a list of devices and programs. Uh, we have one for a new smart clicker. We have some special a special program for a tilt toy. So if you press the install button, I'm not going to do that at this point, but if I hit the install button, it would put a new program into the feeder or into one of the other accessories. This is on our cloud. We call it the mini app store or a little mini library of programs that uh, can be downloaded into our feeder or accessories. And so that's what you have with the Pet Tutor Blue. Uh, we have basic training. We'll be coming out with some other apps as we have new devices and accessories that we'll be adding. Thank you very much.